Welcome to Les Voix de la Photo. My name is Marine Lefort and I'm speaking to photography professionals every two weeks to discover their journeys, successes and sometimes setbacks and give us some advice along the way. I'm French, but I live in Japan, and during my expatriation, I will regularly interview professionals who work in the Japanese photography industry. Most of the interviews will be in French, but some interviews will be in English, like this one. I hope you will enjoy this episode. Bonjour à toutes et à tous, je suis Marine Lefort, et vous écoutez Les Voix de la Photo. Hello everybody, I'm Marine Lefort, and you are listening to Les Voix de la Photo. Today, this episode will be in English, in English because my guest is an uh, English uh, speaker. Uh, as you know, I'm currently living in Japan and I'm very happy to have the opportunity to speak to Japanese photography uh, professionals. Uh, I hope you will like this second episode, the first English episode with, uh, with the publisher Ivan uh, Vartanian, uh, episode um, 78. So today, I'm very happy to be with uh, Sayaka Takahashi, the director of Photo Gallery uh, International. Uh, hello, and thank you, uh, Sayaka-san. Hello. Uh, you are living in Tokyo, yes. and I'm very happy that we managed to do this interview in Kyoto mm -hmm. during the photography uh, festival, uh, Kyotography. Uh, to start this interview, could you explain to us your university education and professional experience until you arrived at a PGI gallery. Okay, so I graduated from Waseda University uh, with a department in literature, fine arts, and one of my professors was a photography critic, uh, Hiraki, Osa Osamu Hiraki. So in the summer of my third year at university, uh, at Hiraki-san's uh, suggestion, I joined the volunteer staff of the Higashikawa uh, International Photography Festival in Hokkaido and experienced installing the exhibition of the Higashikawa award-winning artist. And there was a uh, uh, Mr. Yoshino, so Hiroaki Yoshino, uh, who, uh, who was a uh, former director of PGI mm -hmm. came to instruct the volunteer staffs. So I met him and I just found my interest uh, in preparing the, you know, the f exhibitions. Like it was totally first time for me to see, uh, to see the uh, original prints from the artist without any grass or frames and we could touch the prints and we could you know making a mud and we could make a mud and we could speak with the photographers uh, to prepare the exhibition so and So I so I so through taking classes with Mr. Hiraki and then experience at Higashikawa, I became interested in exhibiting photograph photographs and so after returning to Tokyo from Higashikawa I went to see uh, Mr. Yoshino at PGI and So as you know, the PGI is a gallery uh, specializing in photography, and we also have an atelier for uh, preservation and framing. So its main work is matting, framing, and installing and exhibitions. So we also take care of collections in preparation for museum exhibitions. So I asked to Yoshino-san if they are looking for somebody. <laughs> so I started to work for PGI as a part-timer. And when it was? It was 1998. And yeah, so like 20 something ago. <laughs> mm -hmm. So yeah, I did those uh, since I joined PGI. And 
uh, as a part timer, and it was a great experience for me to work directly with great photographers, photographers and photographs, uh, including those in the museum's collection, so as well as PJ's exhibitions, and. And in 2010, uh, the original director, Shin Yamazaki, left, and I was put in charge of the gallery's operations. So I started without any knowledge how to manage a gallery at that time. And um, uh, just, uh, just before this um, uh, experience at the, at the festival and your uh, study, like in your, in, in your family, do you have some... Um, Uh, on your, or in your friends, do you have some some people who are working in art or in photography, like in the? Uh, no, no, you, yeah. Because so, so you <laughs> discover everything yeah. uh, through the, your studies and your first uh, professional uh, experience. This field, yes, from my <laughs> yes, it it was uh, so when I was high school, uh, there's a kind of big. Uh, seen about the uh, gallery photography. Do you know the word gallery? Gallery photo, gallery, onna no ko shashin, which is kind of the movement, uh, the uh, young artists, especially the female photographers, are uh, kind of hooked up. And there's a many magazines or any other mediums to pick up the artists who is female, who are female. So I I saw it when I was uh, maybe seventeen or eighteen. That's the, that's one of the reason I noticed that. Photography is one of the things that I like. So, and um, uh, so you are working for PGI uh, Gallery for for twenty years. Um, uh, what are the the, the, the specific uh, the specificities? Like, what is uh, uh, special uh, with this gallery? And can you just give up like a a, a, a broad uh, history? historical uh, approach to the to these uh, galleries because I think like the chain the the gallery uh, industries and world uh, have evolved a lot so can you just uh, give us like some uh, explanation and like to describe to the people who don't know a PGI uh, uh, gallery like uh, uh, what it is and what it was like the evolution yeah so uh, it's shown on our website but since opening in 1979, PJ has served as a place that people visit to look at actual prints in person. So uh, I think there's a uh, Zeit Photo Salon, which is the first gallery uh, specializing in photography. And Zeit was opening in 1978 by the uh, very great dealer, uh, Etsuro, Mr. Etsuro Ishihara, and PJI was the second firm in Tokyo. And we are uh, run by the medical equipment transporting company. So the owner, uh, he was studying in California and just he just bumped into uh, Ansel Adams. So that's the reason that he was moved, uh, how people loved photography. So he, he decided to open the gallery in Tokyo when he was back in town. And so, yeah, uh, it has continue, continuously introduced works by both photography captures, not only fragments of life, but also universal reality, which transcends time and place. So therefore we are committed to presenting the expression of each artist living in contemporary, as well as the prints and techniques, present it as 
photographic works of art. We show artists who are outstanding in those aspects. And, and so what are the, um, as the evolutions uh, you have like really experienced as a gallerist uh, from when you started and until, uh, until now we are in 2023? <laughs> <laughs> so if I look back when I don't think I knew anything about managing the gallery, like selling the photography other than framing or installations when I became the gallery director in 2010. So my first thought was how to get more people to visit the gallery at, and at that time. It was like just it. Mm -hmm. <laughs> and so while continuing a program of about 10 exhibitions a year, Which is a lot. <laughs> it, it was a lot. And yeah, we, we just, so now we have only six or seven in a year. <laughs> and, and we also started to hold gallery talks, and which we had never done before and exhibited at Tokyo Photo, which was a photo fair at the time. And that was being happened at the time. And maybe through, I don't remember, but I think th they did five or six editions and to research for young talents. Uh, I participated in portfolio reviews and other events as I wanted to introduce the emerging expressions in addition to whom we had re uh, presented and 2000. 13, I began pra participating in the photography show uh, by APAD, Association of International Photography Art Dealers in New York, so which I had been a part of since the early days of PGI. So in the beginning, I was just looking for something I could do, and I hope mm -hmm. I'm a little wiser now than I was then. And through our participation in APAD, I, I have a kind of new goal, such as to place the work in the right place. Mm -hmm. Like I met the many dealers through the APAD, and, and yeah, I learned a lot from them how to explain the, one of the how to explain the photography and what is a print like vintage or modern or what is the editions and what is the right place etc so so uh, yeah so I feel that is very important for artworks and artists to be introduced to institutional places such as museums and foundations or something like that. Of course, not to mention private collectors. And in that sense, it was a memorable and so pleased to pleased experience for us last year uh, to be able to place Kikuji Kawada's work, the map, Uh, in the Museum of Fine Arts, Boston. This was an ex ex exceptionally large collection comprising the negatives, contact sheets, and 87 original prints. Uh, it was, uh, they are uh, from 80, 1989 and plus vintage prints and the first edition from 1965 of photographic book. And I'd like to thank Mr. Kawada-san, Kawada of course, and Anne Havinger and Anne Moore's curators of the Museum of Fine Arts Boston, and Parker Stefanson of L. Parker Stefanson Photographs, who uh, I'm working with for Kawada-san in New York. She's in New York and who has been introducing Mr. Kawada's work in the United States. And Hinton Miyuki, 
she assisted me during this uh, process. So I believe that this project would not have been possible without the generous cooperation of so many people. And I hope that that collection kind of opened the doors to the uh, international researchers for Japanese photographies and also for Kikuji's Kawada. And so this was re reformed by the by the fact that I was able to run alongside Tokuko Ushioda, who, uh, who is a female photographer, uh, all the way through the exhibition and the book of her work, My Husband, which was released in last year, 2022. Ushioda-san is an artist who has been very well known for her work of icebox, which are kind of topographic photographs of household fridges. And there is a, a fridges closed the door and open the door. So she, she visited to uh, her friend's house or friend's friend's house to photograph their uh, refrigerators. And so, but now, so by publishing her early works, which are photographed from late 70s to the mid 80s, under the title My Husband, I think it becomes to be able to understand how the artist has been approaching with her work, their work. And also, Shoda-san has said that she has never sought to publish these uh, photographs from 70, late 70s uh, because they were too personal, because she photographed her family. So, and also because she didn't want to be influenced too much from her husband, uh, Shinzo Shimao, who is also a photographer and who photographed his daily life. I believe that by presenting them, presenting the uh, body of work now in 2022 or 23, uh, it has resonated with a wider audience. So I think it is very wonderful that there is a world that can be seen not only through single work by one artist, but also through the continuous presentation of his or her work. That it's kind of um, the most in interesting thing uh, working at the gallery. And how many people are you at the gallery? Uh, so we had we have a level, so that one, two, three, four, five, <laughs> seven now. Yeah. <laughs> and the 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 seven is like two people in uh, in sales, two people in communication, uh, or it's like yeah, there is a, a so there's a framer, a manager, me and framer, and the people who are taking care of the shop, and my assistant. And. And two part timers. Mm. Yeah. <laughs> and for the for the people who, who who are living in Tokyo or who who are in Tokyo for um, vacation, uh, it's do we need to to come on, to 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 ask if they can come or it's like an open gallery? It's open. We are open from uh, Monday to Saturday, and yeah, it's open. You can just ring a bell. So. <laughs> Um, to my last question is uh, is really uh, you can you can take the uh, question as you as you want but uh, do you have some advice some 
yeah, if you can give to people who wants to become a gallerist, um, uh, yeah, I think it can be interesting to have your your point of view. Or I don't know something you did and it was not a good idea. Or like, um, so yeah, do you have some uh, some advice? <laughs> So I'm still scratching my head with unexpected things. So I don't believe that I'm a right person to give an advice. But as I'm still often busy dealing with unexpected things that happen. <laughs> <laughs> but I, I guess it's to keep your curious curiousness and to be interested in the works and the artists to try to know them deep, deeper and to have desire to introduce such great works to more people or is it to be interested in the history of the present moment that we are facing now and maybe need a more practical answer <laughs> no 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 i think it's um uh, it yeah it was not really uh, like um it, it was really like an open uh, question so i think it's it's, it's good you, you you just give like what you think and it's not uh, so people can understand and can um yeah can see what they want and be uh, inspired so thank you thank you a lot uh thank you for your time uh so thank you uh, sayaka takashi you are the director of uh, photo gallery international in tokyo thank you <laughs> bye thank you bye Thank you for listening to Daily Voila Photo. To make the podcast known to more people, I invite you to write a comment and give five stars on Apple Podcast. If you want to share your comments with me, you can follow me on social media, on Instagram, LinkedIn, and Facebook. See you next time.